we look at the function f of x equals x squared minus x minus 2 over x minus 2, you can see that uh, this function is not continuous or not even defined when x equals 2. Because if x is 2, uh, in the denominator you have 2 minus 2, which is 0, and you can't divide by 0. Uh, so the function is not defined when x equals 2, and uh, obviously obviously uh, not uh, continuous when x equals 2. How can we remove this discontinuity? Uh, well, we can do it by factoring. If we factor x squared minus x minus 2, uh, we get x minus 2 times x plus 1. x plus 1. Uh, so double check using FOIL, x squared minus 2x plus 1x is minus 1x, negative 2 times 1 is negative 2. So x squared minus x minus 2 factors into x minus 2 times x plus 1. Uh, this is being divided by x minus 2. And so now you see um, this is how we remove the discontinuity. Uh, we since you have x minus 2 being multiplied uh, in the numerator, and that's also what we are dividing by in the denominator, uh, we can cancel out the x minus 2s, and we are left with x plus 1. So that is how we remove the discontinuity. But now, um, remember that f of x was not uh, defined when x equals 2, so now we have to define uh, our function f when x is 2. And we want it to be so that the entire function will be continuous. Well, f of x is equal to x plus 1. Our original function f of x would equal x plus 1. Uh, after we, uh, you know, cancel, factored out and canceled out the x minus 2s, f of x is equal to x plus 1, except when x equals 2. So this is what f of x equals, uh, except when x equals 2. Now, f of x, okay, x plus 1, uh, what does f of x, what is the limit of f of x as x approaches 2? What does this function approach? What is this value going to get near as x approaches 2? Well, as x approaches 2, x plus 1 obviously approaches 2 plus 1, which is 3. And so the limit, uh, let's squeeze it in here, the limit of our function f of x as x approaches 2, okay, well, the limit of f of x as x approaches 2 is 2 plus 1, 3. So if we want to uh, define f when x is 2 so that the function is continuous, f of 2 has to be the limit of f of x as x approaches 2. That's what we mean by uh, continuity. The limit of the function as x approaches the number 2 has to equal the value of the function at 2. So since the limit of the function is 3, we are going to define f of 2 to be 3.